It's been a nightmare off-season for the NRL, with one player facing a charge of aggravated sexual assault and two others accused of spousal abuse. But at Victorian rugby league clubs, a program is transforming the so-called blokey culture with the aim of stopping violence against women before it begins. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont reports. Remember what I showed you? Give it a big cuddle. Things have changed at the Eastern Raptors Rugby League Club in Melbourne's East, starting with the numbers of girls and women. That's helped facilitating our cultural shift, is having all these women around. It's all due to a program called Club Respect, developed after a long campaign by the Victorian Women's Trust, tackling the cultural causes of violence against women. Oh, good one. Now put it down. Violent abuse and behaviours take root when there's not enough respect going around. If we can really teach the kids now the core values for life, so respecting women, respecting each other, then maybe we can stamp out the next generation of domestic violence. There's a coach yelling. Is there a difficulty when you see that? Through training sessions at online links, coaches, volunteers and parents are taught how to deal with situations from violence to unruly supporters to sexism. Club members say, especially through the eyes of young boys, the impact is profound. I see what these men are doing and I see how they're treating women. That definitely rubs off. and It can't not. For the first generation of club respect players, the message is getting through. Out in other places, some boys wouldn't allow girls to be on their team. Do you think that's different here? And if, if it is different, is it good? Yeah, it is different and it's really good that um, boys can accept women for who they are. Just because it's you're meeting girls and treating them like you would treat your friends. NRL Victoria says 27 clubs are now using the program. Those behind Club Respect hope that is only the beginning. Norman Hermont, ABC News.